All right, how's it going? Welcome yourselves back to the Curtis Price channel. Now, if I have to sit down and be honest, I never thought that these words would be coming out of my Welsh hall again. <sighs> Lily Jean. I will swim around with my crown. All the people will cheer, and I will wave at them and shout at them. Back the f*** up. Go into your hole. I know you got nothing. And stay there. What do you mean I can't be queen? Assume about me. I hate assumptions. But I was like, you know, content, whatever. Because right now you're under the water getting, I don't know, decapitated. Go the f away. Who's that again? Well, Lily Jean is a rather gifted individual, the influencer who faked her whole life online. In fact, it's so fake, it's probably just as fake as my big massive plastic dildo. No! Whoa, now, easy tiger. I meant plastic vagina. <laughs> However, the story we're going to be talking about today is something I haven't spoken about in six months. So if you want to watch that video, you probably should. It's pretty essential. Probably more essential than it is to wear face masks. But I don't wear a face mask because I never leave the house anyway. So if you want to go and watch that video, it does indeed reference a lot of what I'm going to be speaking about in today's video. And you know, the last one did have 100,000 views. So we really are milking the cow's teeth through this one. And oh damn, does it feel good. Good enough that I get to make another video on the topic. So before we get into it, let me explain to you who she is. Lily Jean is an influencer with millions of followers who literally played her life as if she was a superstar. A class A celebrity. One of the biggest influencers of our generation. She claimed to be on the front cover of a Teen Vogue magazine. They tried to put me on the cover of Vogue. So instead I photoshopped myself on there. Teen Vogue stopped publishing those magazines years ago. Therefore, it was impossible for Lily Jean to be on one. She was also apparently at the Met Gala. That was at her bollocks as well. And this is just a picture of Katy Perry and Lily Jean's been photoshopped over it. <laughs> I mean, what in the fuck is it? But she does 100% have her own lipstick brand, all right? Her own lipstick brand. She's got her own billboard as well, for Christ's sake is what I would say if my brain was feeding through my ass. And also about her having a million followers. Well, these are her numbers on Social Blade. Her followers gained 142,000 one month, but by the next, she had only gained 7,000. And it's pretty much very similar for the months following that. Those numbers are just as inconsistent as my upload schedule. <laughs> Leave me alone. I've got depression, all right? I can't believe you just made an immature joke about depression. Yeah, well, tell me that when I'm getting out of bed at 8pm every single day, and that's not a joke. And also the lipstick line is fake as well. She just went to a store in New York City which allowed you to make your own lipstick. That's fucking bollocks that is. Oh yeah, not to forget as well the pictures her fans took of her. I'm so jealous, look how famous she is. I would give up two arms and three legs to be famous. It would be great. But that's how I practically exist now. <laughs> no arms or legs, I don't do anything. I appreciate you folks who work hard to get my pictures to my fans. It's a privilege. XOXO. Pap away. Hashtag I love my fans. It's just not though, is it? Please stop. This was just her mother taking pictures of her on the street while she pretended to pause. Oh my goodness, I'm pissed off. But for finally the cherry on top of the cake, her very real existing boyfriend. Fipe. <laughs> I mean, you could have thought of a more realistic name than Fipe. Like, Dave or some shit, you know? But Fipe is nine years older than Lily. She claimed to have met him when she was only nine and he was 18. At this point, it's just an endless barrel of useless sperm. And to be fair, maybe that's how Fipe was created. Maybe Fipe was dropped into a cauldron of useless sperm, just the same way Voldemort was dropped in there. And that's how Fipe was created. AKA a fictional character who doesn't exist. Now skip to now when I woke up and this happened. Hey, we saying bro, you good? We saying man, you good, yeah? Yeah man, your recent video's doing well. Yo. Have you seen what Lily Jean said about you? What? But, but, but it's been like six fucking months. She, she can't have replied. <laughs> She yeah. has, bro. Like, no, honestly. What? No! What she fucking said? What she fucking said? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's over for you. I think you're done. No! What did she say? What did she say? She said that no one fucking listens to her. Oh 
Oh, I'm so doomed. <laughs> Wrong, Lily Jean. I'm coming for you. <laughs> so what did she say? Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, uh, she didn't ask me to come and pet horses with her. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Leaving it here, since nobody tries to even fucking reach out to me about this story. And to be fair, I couldn't have put it better. Your personal tumbler isn't a source. That's fucking bang on. I can't have said that better myself, to be honest. But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, from that live reaction footage, my ass fell through my pants. The sheer thought of Lily Jean's strength just put me on my knees. And not for the first time. But seriously, I would love to follow the link that Lily Jean posted. Uh, I really hope it's not a virus. Oh crap. www.lilyjeantruth.tumblr.com Motherfucker. <laughs> now when you have a name like Lily Jean Truth, you just know it's gonna be the complete opposite. But once again, I couldn't have put it better, you know, your own Tumblr is not the truth because you wrote it yourself. Now you might be sitting there right now and I can guarantee some of you have already commented but you're just giving her what she wants. She wants attention. Except I will gain more attention because I'm an attention slut and I love new people on the channel. So welcome, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, join the membership so you can get a video one day early before everyone else and also comment Lily Jean sucks. So let's start with a bang and uh, read some of the things she said on there shall we? Uh, let's do that. We will reply to her statements on there as we go along. Short backstory on Lily Jean 2019 drama. By this point, it has been over 11 months since the cyberbullying began for Lily Jean on the f July the 14th, 2019. The worst thing you could do is call it cyberbullying. Lily Jean, you pretended to be famous on the internet and a lot of people caught you out and you expect no one to laugh. Well, I don't know what you're expecting, to be honest. If I shit my pants tomorrow in the zoo, I expect every fucker in the commentary community to make a video on me. And also says something about old men making photoshops of her onto inappropriate images. Well, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't know anything about that, so... Quick facts, uh... Number one, Covergirl Billboard. Lily Jean was on Covergirl's Billboard. You can see the billboard Lily Jean was on below. You can see live footage. All right, we can fucking see it. I get it. This was for Covergirl going cruelty free. Anyone could enter. Anyone could enter. Is that right, Lily Jean? Anyone could enter. First of all, I honestly believe that she is running this article in a way so it fits her narrative. Let's not forget, of course, that Lily Jean probably wrote this herself. Like, she she did. It's not an official website. To morons on the internet that first see this website, they're gonna think, oh, this is all true. No, it's, it's, it's Lily Jean made this. But it's funny to me because now you tell me it's a competition. Now you're telling me anyone could enter. I don't remember you saying that before to anyone on the internet. Fake followers. This is not true. You can believe it, not believe it. Laugh, hear, hear the facts. The drama began with fake follower check IO that sampled 500 followers out of 1 million. These odds are slim. <laughs> Sorry everyone, I sneeze every time I hear bullshit. <laughs> but as you can tell, it's a very biased statement. Fully on the side of Lily Jean. You can laugh, you can do whatever you want to. Well, yes, <laughs> I will laugh. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lily, for giving me permission to laugh at you. Right, well, the uh, first thing I've got to respond to this is, uh, firstly, please remember that Lily Jean did write this herself. It's not a fact, but I would bet money on it. And I'm not going to trust the follower website that she's shown the statistics on because it was literally chosen by her as proof. These numbers on Social Blade here do not make sense, Lily. That's the facts. They don't make sense. You can't gain thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of followers one month, but then the next month, not even 10% of what you got last month is how much you had the following month. That's embarrassing, and it also doesn't add up. Ooh, also, I'm gonna be a bit of a fucking grandmother and pick shit out, but it also says 100k could be suspicious accounts. Hmm, 100k could be suspicious. 100,000's a lot of people. It's not legit whatsoever. Bite Beauty Lab. Lily was invited to Bite Beauty Lab. She was created custom lipstick colors. We never called it a collection. We never collabed with Bite Beauty, nor did we say we did. This was rumor. Fantastic grammar there, I must say. Proof Lily Jean was invited. This is utter bollocks once again. Now, if Lily Jean is watching this video, hi Lily, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> I love your videos, by the way. <laughs> but she's probably sitting there thinking, What's this prick gonna say now about me? Well, the thing is, right, 
in this article right here, and I'm, I'm being very blunt here, I'm not going to cut any part of this out. Lily was invited to bite Beauty Lab. You know, yeah, okay, that's fair. We never called it a collection. We never collabed with Bite Beauty, nor did we say we did. This was rumour. <laughs> well, Lily, um, that's the fucking problem. You didn't say anything. <laughs> if you would have explained yourself, none of this would have happened. It was a rumour. A rumour that you wanted to happen. You wanted everyone to assume. And everyone did assume. So you got us, Lily. You got us. You are one smart cookie. But the fact you didn't say anything is the reason everything went tits up for you. Which is why there's so many commentary videos on you. Because it's the fact you didn't say anything. You could have just said. You know. Oh, this fucking billboard here now. It was a competition. You yeah, fucking didn't. And that's the problem. Met Gala. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Lily's mom by accident shared her private Instagram. If fans edited of LJ at the Met Gala without tagging them. You never addressed this, Lily. Not once. And if you did, and I missed it, then I apologise. Uh, here's a drink from me to you. Just kidding, it's mine. You're probably thinking, what the fuck's in his cup? It's apple juice, everyone. Not placenta semen. Doesn't exist. Placenta is not an animal. <laughs> if there's anyone to blame for all this, it is, quite frankly, you. You were the one that walked into the lion's den. You were the one that pulled on the dragon's tail. So that article, uh, the rest of it was practically full of absolute and utter shit. Now, Lily, let's talk about the things that I couldn't find in your article. Now, if I miss this, this is going to be extremely embarrassing, but I'm pretty sure I couldn't find anything on it. You never addressed Fipe. Who the fuck's Fipe? We've never seen a bloke. <laughs> Does the bloke even exist? I, we don't know, but apparently you met him when he was nine and he was 18. Fipe. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> I can't stop laughing about Fipe. It's just, it's brilliant. Fipe. Oh, it's fantastic. Also, Lily, uh, quite frankly, you never addressed um, that piece of shit art you were selling for $150. I said it once and I'm going to say it again. That's the kind of art that I would hang on the outside of my shed. Not even the inside. The outside. Also, you never addressed the whole fake photography thing. Now that is a deal breaker. Now you're like, oh, why is it so big, Curtis? Why is it so big? Why is it so big, Curtis? I'll tell you. <laughs> this is what she wanted all, of, all along. She wanted this narrative to just carry on the way it was, to make everyone make videos on her. But I'm guessing now at this point she regrets it. And if she doesn't, she's released this article for more exposure. Well, unlucky for you, Lily, because I'll gain more subscribers off this video than you will gain off this one because people will dislike you. I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to say? But everyone, please don't dislike Lily. She's a nice person and uh, she is famous. That's my official statement. You're like trying to write your own narrative now. It's kind of a bit annoying and I just... I just can't roll with it, unfortunately. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And join the membership today. And get one video early before everyone else. And one more thing I want to say as well. Uh, I want to hit 100k by the end of January or February. So let's push it. Let's do it. Thank you very much, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace out. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.